Welcome to Attican Plays, Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. All right. Hi, this is Attican, and welcome to Series 4, Episode 41 of Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Now, when we left off on 40, we said we were going to target next getting um, our electronics going. So I'm looking at both electronics and fabric as two things I want to create as maximized industries that we can pump into our new assembly line here because the, that's the two things we are importing right now are electronics and fabric. So I'd like to have it so that these all these vehicles being made are being made with goods that we are supplying. And we're making enough plastics, interestingly enough, with our tiny little plastics production. We're making plenty of mechanical components and we're making plenty of steel, even though this particular one we're running here, um, this SKD takes, I think, at the beginning, seven tons of steel. So it's, it's a steel hog. But uh, we're doing fine on that production, but we need fabrics and electronics. So I'm looking at plugging them into our barely enough approach here uh, in our new city down here. Um, it's called Sargrad. We need to give it a new name. Um, vehicles or cars or something. But um, uh, I think that our self-sufficient farm is working beautifully because we're already getting ahead on our grain storage here and our grain storage here. And I want to make sure I'm not importing crops. Doesn't look like it. Uh, nope, not doing it at the food factory. Uh, distillery. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Fabrics. Nope, not in. Huh. How we make any fabric if we're not importing chemicals? Oh, we must be doing it here. Yeah, we're importing chemicals here. Are we importing crops? We are. We're going to turn off the crop import and just import the chemicals because we should be getting plenty of crops from here. And um, so that's working well. And in fact, that, that leads me to to what I was going to say. If we're going to do electronics and fabrics, then I think what I'd like to do is run them out of this uh, station and run one up this way and run the fabrics here fairly close to the farm so that we can run crops over from the farm into our fabric setup. So, so that means we probably want to put our electronics maybe over in this area. It's relatively flat. Uh, flat enough for the way I like to build. Yeah, right here is perfect. And all we need to do is some, find some way to blast through there with a with a rail line, which could be interesting. The other thing we could think about doing is actually setting up another train station over here and running people in um, to downtown, which is here, which would be a really short walk from here. That might even be better to just have a small station here to drop off people for our electronics uh, module that is out here in a nice flat spot. They'll take the train down here for their goods for their to go downtown. They will um, have what they need locally and they and then we will need a, uh, a train connection. So all we'll need to do is be able to plug in um, to grab the electronics and take them. I think what I'd like to do, if it's not going to be a killer, is the beauty of these circular approaches is you can literally just plug in anywhere on that circle and exit anywhere on that circle and end up in a, in a, in a good position. So uh, we could bring them in here and maybe run a line or bring them in at the crop circle up here. That would work. Uh, yeah, actually, that would work just fine. Bring them in at the crop circle and let them join the dance there and run a lot. In fact, that might be good for future exports if we wanted to do that. And then I'm also looking at, we've got this, we haven't even started using Car de Bog and Kaizena, which are two of my favorite places. Uh, we haven't even started using them. There are lots of flat land out here. Maybe a bunch of farms will end up out there, whatever, if we keep going. So um, uh, let's see, let's do fabric up here. Uh, maybe, maybe here in a flat spot with a road connection and then a train connection down here into this. And let's do a separate 
train station here. And we can build it up here in this relatively flat area and let people, the magic power of the path, they can walk down uh, to downtown should be with no problem. So let's see about that. Let's see what we can do about, think about that first. Small train platform, yeah, it's going to easily if you look at that. The distance is nothing, nothing, nothing. Good, good, good. Uh, let's see. If we put it right there. Maybe turn it a little bit. Okay, and let's, let's just see if this is going to work from a path point of view. Uh, let's see here. Okay, this guy can walk everywhere he needs to go. Beautiful. He can walk to even the university. Perfect. He can walk to the university, to the uh, shopping, hospital, pub, cinema, everything. Beautiful. And we can even improve the pathing a little bit, make some of the walks a little bit shorter by plugging in our cinema. And why not both ways? And our pub down here and our hospital right here. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so that's a great place for that, assuming we can get the rail to work. And it doesn't look too bad. It'll be a little bumpy right there, but we should be able to work through that. And what I want to do is run a loop, a looping uh, type of rail. And it's got to connect with the overall thing somewhere. And it's also got to have uh, its own uh, fueling station, which we can then supply from ooh, uh, from this one way down here, maybe. Or we may even add another stop for our fuel, fuel train. All right, so, um, okay. Doo, doo, doo. Put our stuff in here. Let's see what we need. Let's see what kind of uh, sizing we need. If we have electrical components, electrical components need plastic, steel, and chemicals. We are producing enough plastics that we can add a stop to drop off plastics here. We're producing enough steel to add a drop for steel. But chemicals, we're light on. It's very hard to make enough chemicals. So we need about a, a ton a day of chemicals. So if we had a couple of chemical plants at 80%, that would give us eh, close to a ton a day. And then we would need a little wood for the chemicals. We need gravel for the chemicals, but we can ship the gravel from our construction the material area where we're creating gravel. So um, obviously we're gonna need train connection hooked into our network, which we knew already. That's all well and good. We'll ship gravel down here from um, our construction material area and then export the balance until we start using it for construction. And then, of course, we could do it with construction management. And we could do this whole thing with construction management. I'm not going to, uh, but we could. Uh, we'll save that for another playthrough when we get heavy into construction management. Um, let's see, gravel, wood. Oh, and, and we need a little bit of wood, but that's no big deal. We can set up one, one uh, wood cutting post and do it locally rather than trying to ship it. So, all right, so there's the plan. What do we need? We need only need three plus flats, three, three plus 50. Let's do three plus uh, one other little one, just, to, just for some variety. Uh, okay, we can put those in here anywhere. Uh, do we want them walking distance? No, there, we're going to have to have a, a train station for the flats and then, a, and, and then a separate train line that runs out to our factory. So we want our factories separated from the flats that support them. So we want the flats to be able to get downtown and then we want the flats to be able to go out to uh, maybe out here somewhere where we put our factories. So I'm going to build the flats first just so we can kind of 
work our way out from our downtown area. So this doesn't, uh, I mean, you know, <laughs> we really don't need a train line just to go. I mean, we could put the flats right, right, right in here and have them walk to that bus. Oh, no, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, <laughs> we could have them walk to this bus stop and then walk downtown. And, and you know what? I think that actually would work. I think if we had them walk there and had passengers and students walk to there, when no bus came along, they would they would say, okay, and then they would walk to um, to what they're supposed to be getting to. It'd be like they took a one-hour bus ride. So we could, <laughs> we could have a bus line with no buses. Oh, do we want to do that? I want to do that just to try it, just to see if that works. All right, so we, we said, uh, I think, three and a little one. Yeah. All right, we want three flats and a little one. <laughs> And we can put it, we'll put them up here on this hilly part because it's kind of worthless otherwise. And we can put their support right down here and we'll be all set. And they'll have a short walk. God, we could probably even have them walk. Uh, you know what? We can just add them to the town. We can have them walk downtown. And then we can pick, pick them up as workers from right there and then have our, our electronics even closer. So let's do that. Let's just move them right here. We'll put them kind of up on this little hill looking down on downtown, right above the hospital. One. Now, the interesting thing is by having that, oh, we could use that station, <laughs> um, keep the train station, and that will opens up the possibility of having, expanding this even more, like building another module up here that goes into that train station. Interesting. Okay. Um, so we're, <laughs> so these people, I think, will just walk down there. We're going to leave this as a placeholder for, for for something in the future and just see how much we can push our little uh, barely enough concept here so this might be a little tough let's see let's level off the earth from uh, level up with that flat right there use it as our baseline. They could really use um, altitudes or heights on this. It would be really nice if you could look at this and see how high, because the visual is can be deceiving if you don't have really good eyesight or, uh, you know, it'd be, it's easy to misinterpret what it's telling you. But um, one, two, Three and a l about 50. We need a 50 or 60 kind of thing. 48, that'll work. One more little one. Right here, and let's see what we can do with uh, paths.
Okay. Can't, this one can't quite make it down here, but I think we can fix that. Yep. Okay, they can get everywhere they need to go. We can give them a school, kindergarten, and playground up here, and they are ready to rock and roll. Yeah, I gotta get fire protection. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, that might be a job. Hmm. Might have to cut through some rock here. We use the uh, elevation of the university as our baseline. And we'll make this a little smaller. Concentrate the effort a little bit and see if we can't uh, build a little um, gap here in, in this rock and set up a place for our, um, oh boy, this is a job. When anytime you have a rock like this, it's just such a, uh, it's almost enough to make me rethink the whole thing, but now nah, let's just go for it. Oh, I don't even know if it'll cut through this. I don't know if it's going to be any better right there either. That's a pretty good drop off down to that. <laughs> Where's our fire station? It's way over here. Uh, it barely covers it. Barely. It will cover it though. Let's look for. Our... Mm -mm -mm. It's even hard to bring it out, like through here. Maybe though, maybe.
Mm -hmm. We can run fire protection across this. It won't. It won't be a big deal. It's not going to get held up by a lot of a lot of uh, trains. So let's see what what we can do here. Um, school. We'll tuck a school right in there. We'll put a kindergarten. Uh, no way it's going to go down through there, but that can be fixed. Now here you're seeing the pleasures of not being diligent in flattening stuff, but I just I just don't like the f super flat build. Now it causes me a lot of headaches when I get into situations like this where I've got to, you know, do some convoluted looking thing. But I just I, it just looks more real to me, I, and I just personally I'm just not interested in doing terraforming for hours. It's just I, I, I have better things to do with my life, frankly. Okay, they can all get to the kindergarten. They can all get to the school. 
I can all get to the playground. And they can all get to the train station. All right. Uh, let's make sure we can get track. Uh, see one challenge here. See if we can get track over this. Good luck. <sighs> okay, and we'll have to figure out how to get it off that massive hill. <laughs> Uh, that'll work. Could undo some of the damage we did. Not that it matters. Okay. So if we put a station right down here, loop it around, we can have a nice simple loop that these uh, trains can run in. Oh, and they're going to need the... Mm, mm, we need fuel.
Never ends, does it? Well, I forgot one thing, didn't I? Crap. Now I gotta find a way to put a train station. This is this is almost a great argument for go ahead and do all the stupid terraforming. Cause I'm doing a lot anyway. I think what I'm gonna do is back this up. and try to level all this out into one big level spot. And they can come down off the hill to go to work. We'll have a different area down here for the factories and the chemical plants and all that. Hmm, that looks semi-decent. Um, if we can turn that fast. Oh, fire, well, we're gonna need another, we're, we're gonna need another fire station. We're, we're stretching the boundary of that fire station. Well, I don't see anybody else coming here, so I'm thinking I'd like to have it on the same track on the inside. Now, let's see if that'll work. Not quite, almost. Okay, they'll have a nice short trip to work. And I think we might just add a fire station out here. I just think it's just getting too far away.
We could probably put one right there and it'd be in walking distance of some of these. Yeah, this, this fire station can draw people from right here, so... Okay. Alright, ugly, but it works. It works. Another module. So we're going to put in... Um, <laughs> what is it we're trying to do? Electronics. One electrical component, two chemical, and a wood. All right, so let's figure out how we're going to set up fab, uh, electronics, chemicals, and wood. So the wood can go virtually anywhere. I mean, we can stick it over here and let people walk to it, have it do its thing over here. This little, me this little mesa I've built here is a pain, but... There it is. All right, so <laughs> so let's see. Uh, industries, industries. Where are the electrical components? Are they in various? I think yeah, electrical components. Plastic. So we got to have the ability to ship into it. Now, what does it look like? I, this is my first electrical components. It's got one, two inlets, and then uh, it's just. I'm just going to stick it right there just to look at it. And then um, we'll do chemicals. Two chemical plants. Could feed it directly I think if we do it just right they can feed it directly <sighs> and we could use some oil too crap um, hmm wouldn't have any oil around here would there <laughs> That'd be nice. Where are we? Right here? Oil. Nope. There is oil right up there. There's a very nice rich deposit right in here somewhere. Oh, 
Oh, around this lake. Where are we? Is this... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is our usual lake with the oil for Kaizena. Okay. So we're getting close to it. Um, for now, we won't ship oil, but I do think I might leave the opportunity for that to happen. So this is going to go over here, obviously. I'm just trying to see how it might connect up. So chemical, chemical. All right. So chemicals could possibly go here and here. We'd need shipment here. And if we line this up, chemicals need wood, oil, I think that's it. What do they need? Gravel. We're going to bring gravel in and store it. I think I'm going to have a truck or two do some of these deliveries and not get too hung up on trying to get everything connected automatically to each other. But... But we can do chemicals directly into the electrical components. And that just doesn't sound right. Is that, is that right? They don't, yeah, they do. They need a lot of chemicals, plastics, and steel. So I think what I'll do... I'm going to worry about getting this, the plants in here, walking distance to this. Then we'll put in some storage and, and set up a, a, a train drop-off for the storage and then use some trucks to haul it in instead of worrying too much about getting it just, you know, uh, how should we say, perfect. Okay, so electrical components, we're going to put them right up against this hill and let people walk down the hill. Then we'll put our chemical, actually, in fact, we're even going to put our chemicals, uh, let's see. Well, I think we're going to use this for trucks, these two for the chemicals. Ooh, if that'll work. Two chemical plants. What do the roads look like? Road cargo station there. Hmm. 
I wouldn't mind hauling everything by rogue cargo station into all of these. Just seems simpler. Yep. Oh, shoot. <laughs> this one might be a bit of a challenge. I just can't see that working, does it? Uh, notice that wouldn't go downhill, but it will go uphill. That's a pretty common theme for this. Now, after doing all that, can they walk there? These, mm, these uh, <laughs> connections really limit your walking. Uh, let's see here. We can get there. Now if we can get over here, which might be a real challenge. So close, but no cigar. I really don't want to have one bus. I can, we could do it though if we have to. We could split the walker. Coming off here, they could split between this and this and a bus. And the bus can run over here and drop people off to work here. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. Now you need a gas station.
Tell you what we're going to do instead. We're going to give up this connection right here. And we're going to put the other chemical plant here and take the chemicals over and drop them off here. Like I said, we're going to use a few trucks. No, they should be able to easily walk to all three. And they can. Okay. So good. That makes that much easier. Just a short little train ride, walk on down, go to work. All right. So that part's good. We can use trucks to take chemicals over here. And this one will be an automatic connection. And then the things you need off of the trains, we'll put trains out here and have connections here, here, and here. Okay, good, good, good. All right, that should work. And let's see, what do we need? We need gravel. We need to be able to unload gravel. So we need a small gravel storage. All right, I'm going to cut this uh, episode off right here, and I want to share with you that after all that struggle, this is not the final version. This is not how it's going to end up. But I, I wanted to take the opportunity to kind of share with you how the game, what it's really like to play the game, not just the, oh, I built these uh, this giant set of factories and these 22 flats and downtown and trains and all that stuff, and here's how it works. Um, I wanted to show you the actual work that goes into figuring all this out. And so um, this episode and the next couple are going to be just straight gameplay uh, where I struggle with trying to figure out exactly how I want to do this design. And I go back and forth until I finally hit on something that I think is acceptable. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it will help you become a better player. And I hope you'll join us for our next Workers and Resources Soviet Republic video. Thank you.